Hello, welcome to Lynch's Pharmacy Film Studios. This film is about vibromycin. The chemical ingredient is doxycycline and it's a tetracycline antibiotic. So why would you take vibromycin or doxycycline? Doxycycline is an antibacterial medicine. This means that it stops infections caused by germs or bacteria. It is given as a treatment for a number of different types of infection, including chest infections, some skin conditions, sexually transmitted infections, and infections in or around the mouth. Doxycycline is also used to prevent people from getting malaria when they travel to countries where malaria occurs. So, how do you take doxycycline? There are a number of different brands and strengths of doxycycline. So it is important that you take doxycycline exactly as your doctor tells you to. <clears throat> it is likely you will be asked to take one dose a day, although some people will be asked to take two doses a day in the morning and the evening. If you have a problem with ulcers in your mouth, you could be asked to take four doses a day. How many doses you are asked to take will depend upon the reason for you taking it and the severity of the infection in question. Your doctor will tell you what dose is right for you and this information will also be printed on the label on the pack by the pharmacy to remind you about what the doctor said to you. If you've been given capsules to take, you must swallow these whole, do not chew them. Take them during a meal with a glass of water to make sure you've swallowed them properly. Make sure that you take them while you're sitting or standing up so that they don't get caught in your throat and cause irritation. <clears throat> this also means that you should not take them immediately before you go to bed. So if you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. Try to take the correct number of doses each day, but do not take two doses at the same time to make up for a missed dose. Depending on what you are being treated for, your course of treatment could last from one week to several months. You keep taking the doxycycline capsules until the course is finished, unless you are told to stop sooner by your doctor. So getting the most from your treatment, do not take indigestion remedies or supplements containing iron, magnesium or zinc at the same time you take doxycycline. This is because the doxycycline combines with these chemicals, which makes it, makes it less effective in fighting the infection. If you need to take an antacid or such supplement, make sure you do not take it within two hours, either before or after the taking of doxycycline. Doxycycline may cause your skin to become more sensitive to sunlight than normal. Avoid strong sunlight and do not use sunbeds. Use a sunscreen with a high sun protection factor on bright days, even when it is cloudy. This antibiotic may stop the oral typhoid vaccine from working. If you are having any vaccinations, make sure the person treating you knows that you are taking doxycycline antibiotic. The main side effects of doxycycline are abdominal pain, diarrhea, headache, thrush, dry mouth and anxiety. Regarding pregnancy, when traveling to malarious areas, if that's unavoidable during pregnancy, doxycycline can be used. The, there is a number of interactions between doxycycline and um, patients taking anti-epileptics. You need to talk to your GP or pharmacist about that. So monitor, when used for periodontists, monitor for superficial fungal infections also. You can get fungal infections in the mouth. Again, talk to your dentist or your pharmacist if that relates to you. If you have any questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on our website or email, ring or just call into the pharmacy in Broaddale in Douglas and Cork. Thank you.